Hey everybody, Day Trader Rockstar here, and I'm bringing you a video, um, more of a, um, a member's request, but this is a great video for everyone. I get this question a lot, and we've been seeing a lot of newer traders getting into market lately, and I wanted to do a better job of educating. Uh, I'm a trader also, so it's a again a line between educating and trading and making sure that I am teaching what I'm doing instead of just doing what I'm doing and hopefully everyone understands. So I got a couple of questions in the uh, chat room the other day or I noticed I'm scrolling by actually today and I was off the air doing my uh, watch list for the next week. Um, they were asking Paul, Paul, we would like to get a trading plan where we could use these tools here at Day Trading Radio. I would like, I think that the exact quote was, I would like to get a trading plan on how to use the, the rock bot in the tradeometer. Well, I have a lot of videos on that already. Um, you know, but they're all over there and I wanted to kind of update a lot of these things and kind of make it a, a more of a funnel so you understand where you're starting off and how to apply these school uh, skills to make yourself a successful trader. Excuse me. So I was working on a video the other day um, for my trading series for kids, students and beginners. And even though it says for kids, students, and beginners, the uh, the techniques here are great for everyone all right and what the segment here is what type of trader you are and this is one of the first questions that i always ask a person that comes to me and says hey john i want you to you know i want to learn your methodology i want to trade just like you i want to have similar results um but that's you know there's a lot behind that you know i'm a full-time trader i get up a certain time in the morning i do a lot of research and stuff um and I also, you know, have a, um, a criteria or a, a method that works for my personality type. You know, everyone has a different personality type. I always consider that a va major, major um, obstacle in trading is to understand what type of trader you are. So I, I worked on this. I haven't released it yet. I want to release it as part of this video, and then I'll probably end up releasing it for another video. But this is one of the stages of, of how to develop that trading plan. So what type of trader you are? Or are you? <laughs> We're going to break that down right now. And again, uh, if you recently sent me an email, uh, you know, asking about, you know, just continuing education and, 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 and building and, and learning more of the techniques, this is going out to you. And hopefully we could clear up some of the, uh, you know, some of the basic fundamentals and foundation trades to get you really on a good, good uh, track to making money. So again, First, first thing we want to know is what type of trader you are. And that comes down to a couple different things. What kind of traders are there? All right. Um, and before I even start off, just in case you're not familiar with uh, my show, the videos, maybe you've just run across this for the first time. Um, my name is John Carisco. I'm called Day Trader Rockstar. I've run a, um, a market show since, uh, since 2007. We've been on the air, uh, daytrainerradio.com. Um, we will uh, every day from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, like I said, we have a huge community of traders, thousands of traders. Um, we've been on the air every single day since 2007. I don't think we've ever missed a day unless, unless it was a holiday. And we continue to do that and we trade. And we have hundreds of traders in our trade rooms, chat rooms. Um, the methodology is all aligned for you. So definitely check out daytradingradio.com. Um, you know, check out the site, check out what is there and enjoy the video and hopefully you learn from this. So let's get back to, and also, you know, when we, when we, um, when I go on the air, I always send out a notice. So as, as they say, be sure to subscribe to the video and make sure you have that notification on because the notification will let you know when we go live every day. So if you kind of get into the habit or you might not remember it's good to have the notification come out saying, oh, Day Trader, uh, Day Trader Radio is live on the air at 7.30, you know, tune in now, and it'll, it'll give you an update. So, all right, so let's get to the uh, ma the four major traders. All right, now, I, a lot of people already recognize this, and some people might even have a different twist on this, but basically we're going to come down to four different type of traders, a scalper, a day trader, a swing trader, and a position trader. Um you might be a combination of these. You might be one of these. You might be, you know, it could be anything. So basically, let's just break it down. Scalping is holding the position usually for, um, 
you know, one minute to, you know, an hour, say. Um, you know, but a very fast, that's your fastest trade. We could have micro scalps, very fast trades, or you could just trade um, stocks on one minute time frames, one minute charts, or five minute charts, and kind of, uh, you know, break this down into a little bit more simpler video. I want to just kind of give you an example. A lot of the scalpers would trade, you know, say the S&P futures or the SES futures. And we might be using, let's take a look here, we could be using a, um, a one minute or three minute or a very uh, faster time frame. And when you use that t faster time frame, yeah, let's bring this up here for you a second. There we, that's the Bitcoin right now, actually. All right, here's a, a one minute. For a scalping, um, a, a scalper, we're typically focusing on, um, like I said, a shorter time frame and faster moves. So this is a, a one minute chart that I usually put on the on the show. It was our kind of our benchmark index, I kind of call it. It's something that we track everything else against, but I always keep a tr an eye on this because there's great o trading opportunities. We usually trade uh, the micro futures off the ES, which are the um, the MES, or you could trade the E-mini futures, which is the ES. And for each one of these uh, indexes, you have those futures that you could also trade around them, or the, even the ETFs like the SPY, SPY. Um, but again, for and again for the object of me teaching someone new coming to the site, what I would recommend is I would recommend if you're going to be a scalper, use its techniques. But if you're going to start off it's a great opportunity to start learning about the MES, the micro contract on the futures, the S&P futures, because um, it, 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 a lot of liquidity in it means it moves around and gives you a lot of entries. It's very good. It works great with the method, the methods and the technical analysis. And it, uh, it's kind of low stress. It's a little, it's one tenth of the, uh, the value of an ES contract. So you're not dealing with such a big uh, cost the, the, uh, on a good, um, discounted broker or good you know you can actually trade you get good margin on the contract and don't have to put a lot of money up for it another benefit to trading the micros is there's no pattern day trading rule where on individual stocks you have to have over 25,000 to have a free and clear trading other than you're you're confined to three trades in a five-day period which really limits to you limits you and actually puts you at a disadvantage because you end up staying in things longer than you should um, so that's a it's a big benefit here so a scalper really uh, you know consider the MES um, and again I could always do more videos on that and again we trade it off the ES you know this is just as fine to um, to trade it off the ES they're gonna have the same exact uh, basic patterns they're gonna be playing out and and again as you learn the techniques behind it this this is a video of determining what kind just kind of breaking down what kind of trader you are and what type of setups you need to go we're looking at the one minute time frame and what I typically I'm looking at is a trade believe it or not for me on a scalp uh, on, on the MES or something unless we get a five minute setup which is you know you could go for about 30 minutes into the trade some of the trades are about five to ten minutes um, usually a scalp doesn't last more than 30 minutes for me all right but technically I mean if we want to put down a uh, you know just kind of into a, a bracket I would say up to an hour on, on scalps and then anything after that we're gonna jump to the next level which would be the day trader uh, now the day trader is holding position for a day or less um, and again it could be buying something in the morning on a uh, on a five minute time frame diversion setup and holding it as long as you feel that the trend is intact or whatever you know whatever however you're gonna trade it but normally we you know we learn about where to get in and how to scale out and take profit so it's again very rare to hold something the whole day um, unless you happen to just know that the markets going up one direction or going down one direction you just want to hold on to it and those happen you know they usually happen on good news or bad news days we have very strong trending markets. <laughs> then after that, we have a swing trader, and these are holding positions for several days. Um, several days, meaning you, more than one, uh, and I would say less, less than two weeks. Um, 
you know, one to two weeks sometimes. And that's good for daily charts. You know, I like the daily chart if I was a swing trader or a position trader. Both of these kind of could take, get the same entries and the same technique to entry, position trader and a swing trader. Uh, basically, we're looking at a bigger time frame, uh, usually the daily or the hourly. And we're also looking for uh, just certain, certain trade setups uh, called the divergence. Now, I have a lot of... Um, tools that help me identify these levels uh, which are uh, available to you at day trading radio and they'll point out these levels where we want to go long and then from our positions again we're always following up with a trail stop trailing stop and and taking positions off as it moves up in this case this is a daily and you can see how strong this was this, this is actually not the normal this was really crazy but what is normal is seeing the divergence setup which is kind of marked off on this on, on this chart by these little spikes you know I have an internal indicator that just runs on any chart I brought up there and it kind of outlines where the previous divergences are so these are the things I'd be looking for and a combination of looking for that reversal candle and the thing and the reversal candle as we know is looking for that candle that is the tail of the candle which is the skinny part of the candle has to be twice as twice as long twice as you know big as this the head or the uh, body I should say the body is the dark or the hollow body the fatter piece of the candle and that's the body so it doesn't matter if the body's dark or uh, or open green or, or red however your chart represents it as long as the tail is twice as big as the body we consider that I consider that a reversal this would be one right here this would probably be one right here too and a, and a, a reversal happens when you take out the previous low or you, 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 you kind of double bottom it or double top it, you know, it's come down to the same level. And what we're seeing here is a stochastic rotation happening before the price starts to rotate. And that's why the signal is giving us that signal. So this was, a, a you know, a, I would take this trade, I would take this trade. And most of the trades, as we know from the methodology, you know, you know depending on the time frame, if we're looking at a day or a swing trader, we're, we're definitely looking at holding it probably about five to seven days and in some cases much more uh, if you're a swing trader say you're a swing trader and just you know you said all right I have some money I want to put to work I want to see what's on the high probability you know I would Home Depot might be one of those saying all right there was a nice kind of a drag you know kind of a consolidation pullback here for the last eight months we got a divergence this is something you might want to just say I want to hold on to this as long as you know I just was waiting for an opportunity you know a lot of things don't give you a big pullback, but when you do have the opportunity as a position trader, you might want to take it and get in and say, all right, I want to put some money in my IRA to work as a position. As a, position. a swing trader, again, same same area, but maybe you might be prone to take it off because you figure, you, you know, you got a good return and you want to put that money to the, to work as at the next setup. You know, every setup has a great entry level, and most of them you would probably take um, take profits if it came into an area of resistance like a trend line here and you started to see this little downward candle you might take that off it's okay to be wrong it's okay this was a an unbelievable move on Home Depot and it doesn't make you wrong to take it off and then see that because we're always getting into the good setups and we want to keep that money working for us this is a rare case where this thing really took off lots of the times you know you'll get into a stock and we'll get you know this is a great example and this one actually took off this was another um, uh, lower trend line setup that we took, and I took it off here, and you can see that it continued to, to move higher. It definitely continued to move higher. So some of these, um, you know, but the entries are important. I don't mind leaving a little on the table. I'm more important of not losing any money, so I want to be able to have the patience to get into this. So that gets us back down to uh, pretty much, you know, the same thing when we talk about let me get this back up here the position trader and the swing trader several days versus several weeks now I've talked about um, when we trade divergences and when we tr you know now that we've determined what kind of trader we are or a combination of trader or just understanding what trading you know trading styles are and what they represent now you could apply the different techniques to those and know that each one has a different a time frame. So in most cases, you know, if we're talking, you know, if I have 
maybe seven different trade setups I call the playbook trades and I have seven seven of them the 200 EMA breakdown channel line bounce the stochastic rotation or oversold stochastic channel line bounce uh, the one two three pattern the divergence uh, plus a reversal candle X marks the spot. These are different techniques that could apply to each one of these. Each one of these. Now, I have a little different definition here. I kind of went into it. Our, we already went into this, so I'm not going to uh, really go into this. I'll probably end up sending sending this out in a couple of weeks to the members of Day Trading Radio when I finish up. But this is the important part. I just started finishing up here, and I wanted to kind of go over this because I think this will help a lot of people. A lot of people in a way that. Um, you know, people just like to have things organized. So let's take a look at this. Here's a little cheat sheet uh, for what a scalper, day trader, swing trader, and position trader, the best techniques to use, the length of the trade, some important tips, and the, some of the tools you could use to help help you out on this. So this is a little thing. I'll, I'll scroll down if you can't see the whole thing. I just want to make sure we can fit it all on there. I just finished this. And I didn't um, go through it with a fine-tooth comb to see if there was any grammar grammar or maybe some spelling error. So if there's anything there, I wanted to get this out because there was a, uh, a few um, questions on that today. So I didn't see anything. I think I went over it once, but I'm famous for that. All right. So scalpers. And again, um, if you're familiar with the show, you're familiar with myself, you know, we're, we're mostly, uh, we, we put a lot of um, weight into the divergence trade here. It's our bread and butter when we talk about trading quality names on a short term medium term and long term basis now if you can stick to this game plan that's great not everyone can and not even I can't even sometimes because to require for you to stick to this means that you, your discipline would have to be so sh so good and so sharp you have to have patience that to wait around in the market is like going into a casino with a you know with a a lot of money and uh, and not sitting down at a table or watching watching tables waiting for your hand to come up so uh, waiting for a table to open up whatever the analogy is it's very hard to just wait for your trade and that's that's the true goal of being successful in in trading and this is really how to do it this is a broken down really well um, so again as a scalper uh, you know being in the trade from a few minutes to a to uh, a bunch of minutes one minute divergence with a reversal candle now again I'm not going to go into the reverse I'll, I'll put another video to kind of follow up I have another video that a lot of people maybe haven't uh, watched yet uh, based off of the divergence and the trading what I call my uh, day trader rockstars trading plan and I go over divergences in that and it's really broken down so I'll add that one to the back of this one as a follow-up this is just added to the overall uh, series so again, one minute divergence with a reversal candle, best technique on that. The scalpers are usually news traders. They'll usually get up early in the morning. Um, I find it very, very important to get into the market early. Now, the uh, stocks, futures go overnight. You can trade overnight, but I find that after three o'clock Eastern time in the morning AM, it's when the European markets open up. And that's when volume starts to pick up when we tend to see the markets. Now, I'm not getting up at three o'clock in the morning. But I'm getting into the office around 7, 7.15, and I'm, I'm usually sitting down there. Uh, and remember, the stocks open up at 4 o'clock. So a lot of people, another tip is uh, that it's very important for you to have a broker that allows you to trade pre-market. Most of the good money is made pre-market. Uh, it really is. There's a lot of big moves are made, but you have to be in front of it. You have, to have, you have to be in the dashboard. You have to have the news on. We're there with the news, live news. So that's very important. If you're going to be a scalper, you have to be serious and you have to go to where the scalps are. And those are, tend to be earlier in the day and when the market opens up is when we have the most volatility in the, in the, and usually the biggest moves in the market. So um, so we'll start with a scalper length of trade, 1 to 15 minutes typically. Uh, important tip, when using a 1 minute divergence scalp method, it's best to have the 5 minute stochastic turning into the direction of the scalp. The five-minute chart takes longer to set up and will increase success dramatically. And when I talk about that, it's just having, I would like to do that too. If I could actually go back to my, um, my, um, 
my charts here, not this one. <coughs> Hold on. Say here, um, the 6010 down here, the 6010 is very important, the stochastic. You see how we're getting down and we're oversold here. We're oversold underneath the 20. That means our five minute is oversold. Our five minute is oversold. So when we have a divergence, and a divergence happens when the price makes a low, it makes a lower low, but the stochastics make a higher low. That's our classic uh, divergence. The higher the, the stochastic angle here, the better. I mean, if this is up here like this and it turns up up there and it still makes a lower low, that's a better. But as long as it's kind of above that 20, um, that's a nice divergence. And it's, it, it adds to it if this uh, 6010 is starting to turn back up. That means your five minute is on your side also. So now you have a bigger pullback, a different time frame that got oversold. So you had the one minute oversold and you have the five minute oversold. That is probably the best setup you could have. And also just kind of seeing the direction of this. Sometimes you might be midpoint in this, but it's starting to fade up when you have a big divergence. And there's certain type of channels and stuff you can pay attention to. Um, so that's very, very important. To, uh, you know, it's, so I'll go to that one. That's a five minute tip here. Best tools, the tradeometer uh, with the Rockbot. Now the tradeometer and the Rockbot, the tradeometer is going to give you that minute by minute trade. Uh, the Rockbot, depending on how you program or actually you can have it on your machine or you can watch the Rockbot channel. The Rockbot channel has the one minute and five minute. Now I continue to stress that you have to, I would wait for the five minute for even the scalpers. Scalpers to have that five minute setup uh, is much, much better. So, I mean, even though it says one minute divergence with a reversal candle, that's a hyper scalping. I should put five minute here also. Um, and I would recommend, recommend, you know, to all beginners traders to start off trading the five minute signal. It doesn't come around as much as the one minute, but it also gives you a higher probability uh, of uh, trade success so the tradeometer and the rock bot the tradeometer is actually a one minute um, setup you know for uh, hyper scalpers but if you combine that with the rock bot and you have that rock bot on the five minute setup or you're watching the five minute one minute and they both overlay they both give you the same signal that's what you want to do and again having both of them give you the same signal one could give you a signal one time, another one could give you another one. To give them both overla overlapping signals is really good. Um, and again, that won't happen as much. So the important thing is picking your trade, waiting for the best trade to come to you. That way you're staying out of the chop in the market. All right, day traders, one minute divergence with a reversal candle or a five minute divergence with a reversal candle. Again, I could put this one up and I probably will if I can. Uh, yeah, I think I can. Let me copy this copy because like, like I said I just finished it I just was working on it right now and I just I just wanted to get it out to you there it is boom I just put it in there uh, but here it is five minute divergence is better for longer trades momentum traders also take advantage of this pre-market pre-market is great for five minute divert uh, momentum trades length of trade um, Again, usually five to seven candles. If they're five minute candles, uh, you know, we're looking at this could be up to on average about, you know, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour, but it could go as long as the whole day. Important tip many of the great day trades is where you could catch a trending market all day, begin around 9 50 to 10 30. This is a, a big reversal time in the day. So if we look at the market opening up and pulling back slightly, we watch that 9 50 for a reversal. Lots of times on the pullback, you're looking for a divergence to give you that signal for a reversal. And that di if that divergence comes in around that 9.50 to 10.30 area, there's lots of times that's the beginning of a bigger rally. So I always watch that level, that time frame, 9.50 to 10.30. Another important time frame, uh, time frames of, of course, or anything around news. And uh, again, overnight, it was when European markets open up, 3 to 3.30, and then Asian, mar Asian markets on some occasions will move the market too. Um, swing trader, uh, here we go. Now we could start looking at the five minute divergence. I, I still like the five minute divergence even though 
it's a faster time frame. But then we're looking at the 60 minute divergence and also the daily divergence. HPS trade book trades, the one, two, three pattern, the X marks the spot, triple threat, stochastics oversold, lower trend line bounces, reversal candles. All the, the uh, playbook trades work great for swing trades. And again, this puts you in a, kind of puts you in a box and, and forces you to wait for the best setups. Um, two to 14 days on your length of trade. Remember this case, there's no definite number on these. There's no definite uh, holding things. If, it, if you feel, if you could get a big move in two to three days, you might scale off. Important tips. All right, as referred to in the above sector here, um, the next longest time frame in this case is the 60 minute stochastic. So in case with the five minute, when we're going for a longer term trade, uh, you always want to have that five minute going in your direction. You want to have the five on a scalp. You would like to have that five minute going in your direction on a day trade. You also want to have that five minute, but the next time frame going in your direction be the 15, but I like to say the 60 minute. So whenever you have that five minute and the 60 minute lining up, uh, the 60 minute of course is one hour of, uh, you know, one hour of time for each candle and that could that could last a whole couple days to get a full rotation going from overbought to oversold, oversold, overbought. So easily to, uh, you know, to have that 60 minute in your time, in your favor when you enter a swing trade. You want to have that 60 minute on a long coming off the bottom, you know, from 20 starting to lift up here. You want to get that momentum on the 60 so you have longer time in, in that trade. You don't want to really take those swing trades if you're peaking at an overbought level. You know, that's kind of already given a, going against the grain because to get up into an overbought level, if I, if I show you an example here, let's go to a, just a, a kind of a normal stock here. Um, and just uh, the chops around a lot. Yeah, um, here's a daily, but here's a 60. Lots of times when the 60 is up, you're going to get that pullback. And when you get oversold, you push back up. 60 gets overbought again. Uh, you know, you don't want to have, you'd rather be down here when the stochastics are just starting to turn back up. You get this nice big move up here. Some cases will get embedded uh, up here, you know, and that happens. But the, normally, again, you want to, these are pinpoint, you know, trades that, that easy enough to wait for the conditions to be right for you, you know. So we just kind of just got oversold on the 60 on EXCL. And uh, so that actually looks pretty good going into next week, which we are long, this one, by the way. <laughs> and whenever, this this will be a dated video, so it'll probably be way over if we look at this a year from now. But that, you can always go back and see how that performed. All right, um, but again, 60 minute, you rather have it turning up instead of going down. Here's, a, here's a, actually a great example of a 60 minute sell side divergence. You have a higher high, on, a higher high, but a lower high on the stochastics. You can see stochastics up here at this high, but when we gapped up, the stochastics were already starting to turn down. Didn't, re, didn't move higher, they were actually under the 80. And from that point on, you got a nice pullback for a day or two. And again, a swing trade, on a 60 minute time frame is going to be much easier to recognize. All right. So, that, so pay attention to that 60 minute time frame on the swing trader thing. And again, best tool for this, the high probability setups, which is the, the setups that go out every Friday. Now, every Friday, the HPS setups go out to the members of day trading radio. They, I do all the research for you and I, I do the research and it gets uh, posted. Let's see what we have here. And there, that's actually this week's video. And we do a write-up on it and stuff. And I'll show you a little bit more about what you get here. The HPS setups are, are um, and again, we just had one. I'll give you an example. You go to the HPS section of the site. You click on the chart that, uh, that comes with a video. And it, it basically, the video describes what's on the chart. This It'll give you a buy trigger. It'll give you a profit zone and it'll give you a stop all on the uh, on the thing. And it's all connected to your account. So if it, it's real time, once it hits a buy trigger, it'll get sent right to you. So you get a text message email saying, hey, HPS buy trigger for Proofpoint has activated. You might want to take a look at that chart and take that trade. Um, and then again, 
uh, it'll be in real time and it got up to the profit zone and it took its it took its uh, profit or it would send out an email right at the time and then it would turn on gold here meaning that green means it entered its position gold means it hit its profit point red means it hit its stop um, so gold has hit its profit if it says it's watching it hasn't hit its entry level yet and it continues to be in play if it's green and it's still green that means it's currently open and you know tradable and in a trade so we're in a couple of these trades well that's the Persian scroll I'm actually in the EXCL we just talked about that one um, how good of that that 60 minute setup is actually really good on that and this was actually a very nice uh, set up we almost got up to our target up here our target was 25 we got up to 2490 um, <laughs> and then it kind of pulled back a little pulled of that trend line but now the 60 minutes back oversold so I'm gonna look for that to continue to push higher <clears throat> all right so and that's uh, that's what the HPS is that's that is what the HPS setups are AUPH is setting up uh, and Corning, Corning is a recent one, and lots of times we'll, we'll you know, uh, we'll take these great quality names, and we might be in trades of them before, but the important thing is waiting for them to come up. Like this, I could look back at this trade right here and see that I was once in it before down here, off of a high probability setup here, and our target was right here, um, and we got that, and it kind of chopped around. Eventually, went back all the way back up here, and. Because I'm very familiar with the ch uh, chart, I waited for another good setup. This was a beautiful breakout setup. And let's take a look at what happened there. You can see it kind of popped, dropped, and then broke through. And this is where it is right now. So, um, so all the research is done for you every week. We got a new one out today, a uh, new watch list one out today. And the uh, stocks are being added to this right now. We got a new one that's going up there. The JAWS is actually going up there. Right after I get done with this video, JWS. All right, uh, so that's the high probability setup, and that goes back to the swing traders and position traders. Those are already set up for you. They go out every week, every Friday. They go out to members of Day Trading Radio. Um, so those are the things. And again, position tra traders, I'm looking for daily and weekly divergences. Daily and weekly divergences. Um, a position trader, you could hold it for weeks, months, years. All right. Uh, basically, it's uh, it's a position, and you're not really concerned with it, but you want to be in some good stuff. It's safest, and over time, the most successful way of wealth creation. You know, it, uh, it, honestly, it, it is. It's if you invested in the market and get into some good, good, uh, f you know, market tracking funds and uh, good for IRAs and stuff. This is perfect for IRAs. Um, Try to scale into a position is one of my tips. If you get down to a level where you start to like it, uh, it's very hard to call a bottom or you know or a top if you're shorting. So I usually start off with a quarter position and feel it out and, until I get a reversal candle, and then I'll 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 c continue to add to that position until I I get my position fully in. <clears throat> so I usually start off with a quarter to a half position. Um, reversal ca candles are very important. On the bigger time frame so anything on the daily or the weekly time frame the bigger the candle the better the chance of a reversal and we really really use the reversal candles as our our um, you know our our trigger you know you might have a divergence um, we might have a nice bottom or a trend line coming down into play you might have something but the, if you have a reversal candle with that that makes it even better and again a reversal candle could be one of five different candles all right let me see if I actually have that uh, for you reversal can you know what let me see um All right, a fast review of the reversal candles. I call them the sixth indicator, the six indicators. And again, I know I, I skipped over a lot of stuff because we're talking about what kind of trader you are and the defining the type of trades, trades you would be taking. 
uh, they help you out there. But you know, all these techniques and stuff come from the methodology I developed over over years, called the high probability uh, high probability setup me methodology. And it's the foundation would be stochastics, and then your other things that you want to have three of these lining up for you to take that trade. Uh, price on a confirmed trend line, price on a moving average. Is there a recognizable pattern, which is a one, two, three channel, a wedge or channels, flags or pennants, support and resistance, and the wild card, which I really uh, want to point out is five reversal candles, any of these can candles. Now, I consider like stochastics and a reversal candle and the trend line, the, the top three. Uh, the stochastics, we're looking at uh, lane divergence and triple threats. Triple threats are when the all all of the uh, candles all of the, excuse me all of the um, stochastics here let me get those up on the screen here again all of these four stochastics are all lined up uh, lots of times they take you know you have to get them all lined up like right here would be one right here you have to get the 60 down the 40 the nine the nine three and the 14 three all under the 20 very rarely does it happen when it does that's called a triple threat, even though it could be called a quadruple threat. I call it a triple threat. And that's uh, a good setup usually. So these are different techniques uh, developed over the years that will help you uh, identify those those levels. So that's why that coil stochastics, lane divergence are number one, and the foundation, it all co revolves around stochastics. A basic over and overbought and oversold indicators and then everything else is added to that so you want a stochastics a channel and a wild uh, and a reversal candle those three are like the golden uh, egg right there and that's what I want I want to get each time on my trades so now that uh, I kind of give you an update on that let's take a look at fast at the candles um, reversal candles you have the hammer and the shooting star each one of these are opposite ones for a bottom you know you take out the lows you, you close on the highs you have a big long shadow same thing on the top on the you know and here's the examples bullish engulfing very important great candle to have same thing all these candles have one thing in common they take out the lows or they take out the highs and then reverse and close higher it's a great sign all right that uh, and then we have a piercing pattern same thing take out the lows close and higher above 50 percent of the previous candle same thing take out the highs close lower on the down dark cloud cover that's a bearish candle and then here's your example so excellent examples there look for those <coughs> they're excellent um and i won't give you this webinar here because this has a lot to do with um you know some more information you probably need on this so let's go back here and finish up this and get this out to you a couple a couple more things I just want to mention all right high probability setups to stop uh, alert has been a need for more focus on position trades and wealth creation a new section yeah, I am working on a new section uh, for position traders you know so we have longer term position trades instead of more of our scalping and and uh, swing trading you know five to seven days is kind of my average but there is things I want to hold, like right now I'm in the midst of holding Google, and I want to hold that longer, and I would like to start building some other positions and some quality names on pullbacks. And again, I would wait for that divergence to take that entry. So back to uh, what type of trader are you? Well, that's a good start of how to um, you know define yourself, kind of get you started. This all comes part of what I call the business plan of being a trader. Now, the business plan, I'll, I'll put some links to the next video um, that's very important a big big deal is the business plan and how to set up trading as a business that's part of your plan this is part of your plan everything's part of your plan the biggest thing I had to again stress is run your trading like you're running a business you're you know like you're running a business have a business manual playbook uh, and it'll force you to stay true to the trades and it won't let you wander and, and start to gamble because trading is is really borderline uh, gambling you know if you you know sometimes you're just getting in hoping that the market's going to go your direction and most of the time that's how it is this way trading I mean we've proven how well those divergences work um, you know especially the rock bot recently uh, tweaked 
just using that five minute time frame I'm gonna move it over here let you see it I discussed it already on a couple other videos how good it's been working and I want to make sure that everyone understands that um, you know I have this set up to take the majority of the profits off the first target and this is actually so to trade the MES it identifies the divergences for you so that's that's an indicator in itself I'm not saying that this is going to trade for you all the time because I don't think every single moment in the market is good for bots and stuff there's times where it's too volatile or the market you have to understand the direction of the market the market is in a free fall selling off you don't want to put on a buy side bot and the opposite is true also so when you have a choppy market these are usually the best times to run this and um, as you can see it just identifies all these perfect divergences and they put a stop in right at the low it's all automated and it's on the rockbot channel you know so that comes with your membership it's on the rockbot membership um, channel and you have an option as a lifetimer to get the code and run it on the ninja trader and have it trade for you but again i prefer you having it and taking it as an indicator meaning let it show you the position let it get you in but then take a manual can take manual control over the trade and always be careful with it because you cannot guarantee uh, you know certain things news uh, events and you know being being shaken out of a uh, out of a market but if you're um, as you can see if you these setups are great so five minute this is tweaked perfectly the five minute divergence I want to try to start doing more classes on this to get people up to speed I appreciate a lot of the questions um, you know and uh, and just keep them coming and if there's anything I can help you with this video please post it in the comments I'll get I want to use this video as a, a video to kind of answer a lot of the questions uh, that are out there um, on this all right uh, I hope you enjoy that don't forget to sub subscribe and make sure the notifications so you don't forget when the show starts each day uh, every day at 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday and then we usually do some after hour shows and uh, again I'm here so what time is it? it's 10 o'clock on a Friday right now I just got out the HPS watch list which does set up those those setups for you this is the pot right now and all right I think that's it I hope you enjoyed that video um, and I'll talk to you guys in the market this is a day trader rock star signing off for day trading radio